right now um, what I want to check out is what is happening in the channel box whenever I create or select any object right because if I have nothing selected there's nothing in here but if I select this new cube I have all these uh, boxes in here and in here and let's see what are they for so these ones seem pretty obvious right those are our transformations translation rotation scale and my visibility so if I move this in the x-axis I can see it updating in here if I move that from the center I will see the cube moving in all the three axes if I rotate the object I can see how it's being affected if I just click on the blank area of the this rotate tool I can rotate in all three axes I don't recommend this but just to let you know it, it exists so there's that and for my scale let's try something like that okay but what I'm really interested about right now is not this part because we'll get to this but at the very bottom there's this uh, thing that says inputs and Basically, everything I do to this cube is going to be uh, listed in here as an input, okay? Right now, I just created it, so it only has one input, which is named Polycube1. And if I click on it, I have access to uh, the creation param parameters this cube has, has, right? So, if I go into subdivisions with input 5, I will have now 5 divisions, right? the width if I put five in here now it has five divisions in the height and for the depth five and now I have a cube uh, subdivided and with edge loops all around the cube right if I go to vertex obviously I can start editing all of this new vertex right so this is pretty interesting, I can do um, with some patience in moving all of this very complex stuff, right? And that's basically what modeling is, moving vertices, getting the shapes we want out of basic uh, shapes or forms, right? So let's delete this, let's ring, let's say a sphere, click on the input, <coughs> and for this one we have radius, which could be, let's zoom out a little bit, could be higher or lower, let's keep it at 3, add my subdivisions, which can be taken down a little bit let's do something like that right and we're already editing these main uh, or these primitive shapes into something more uh, let's say something better for us to start working right so if we grab all three of this Put my cursor in my 3D view, hold my middle button and mouse and drag. I can control them all at once. I can do this with just one parameter or all of them as long as they are selected. Not in the box. Oops, maybe also in the box but I'm used to do it on the this part of the, the name of the attribute so let's bring this to 4 and subdivisions to 3 maybe 
and there you go we're already editing our primitive shapes um, and this already for us to start working right we can start moving this around creating some crazy new shapes that doesn't look like a cube at all if I took the time to do that to do that right Right now I'm only working with my 3D, but if I hit space I can see my other views. Remember this is the top one, so I can select some of these vertices and I might be only uh, able to see a few of them from this camera, but if I select all of them, the program will automatically select the ones behind and we can see that in here. Right, and we can edit in one view and see that affect the other ones. So that's pretty cool and pretty useful for uh, modeling. We can see how it is looking from all of the views and while having control uh, only on one, right? So yeah, that's inputs and the channel box. We'll be using this a lot so get used to it um, try to get to know all of these slots don't worry a lot about these ones actually don't worry uh, at all about these ones right now just get to know the inputs and how each primitive has different uh, slots in the in its own input right this cone has a lot more slots than the cube had. I mean, the sphere, right? It only has four, while this has a lot more. That's like seven. Yeah, three, six, seven. Yeah. So get to know the inputs of all the primitives and what see what you can do with them. And after that, see uh, or check out a couple of uh, tools that will be very useful for our navigation Maya. Okay, see you there. Bye bye.